This is Samira, a mother of four, living in the northern Jordanian region of Al Mafraq. She and nearly 1,500 others like her are pioneers in a new resilience program created by UNDP that is bringing vitality and hope to the communities hit hardest by the crisis in Syria. Having a job is more than having a salary. A job brings a place in the society and fosters dignity. So the Arab region has the highest unemployment rate from 12%, 30% in the region, and conflict have uh, uprooted an important numbers of uh, people from their communities, their economic environment. So generating employment in the region is more than a simple policy option, is preserving the future of the region. In the last Syria conference, the international community and governments in the region, they agreed on an ambitious target of 1.1 million of jobs, new jobs, by the end of 2018. This is what requires all the support from the development community. It's a holistic program that looks at supporting municipal infrastructure to be able to cope with the pressures placed by the increase in the population. We also started a major program on what we call livelihoods. As an example of our assistance to the host communities in Jordan, in 2014, the government of Japan provided about 1.8 million US dollars to UNDP to implement the program titled Emergency Employment Through 3 by 6 Approach. So it can be painting of a school or a health center, repair of the roads, installation of LED lightings. During these three months, they are paid what we call incentives. Uh, equivalent to the minimum wage rate declared by the government. Part of this incentive payment is saved in a local bank. The 3x6 was designed in a way of, on one side, uh, allowing people to get a salary, but on the other side, making sure that they engage in a, in a saving component. It's given the opportunity for them to leverage their own resources. We got the methodology that was implemented by UNDP in other countries and Jordanized it. With the 3x6 approach, after participants are hired to work and help to save, they are supported by UNDP to start small businesses, using their savings as seed capital. Just last year, Samira started a mini electronics company that specializes in selling inexpensive solar-powered and other off-the-grid personal products. Not far away, another new business, supported by the Emergency Employment Program's 3x6 approach, is getting off the ground. Thahib Shadifat is part of a group of five women and two men who met at the 3x6 training program and came up with the idea after completing a survey of local needs. This dark storeroom belongs to two business partners. They discovered that only one type of mushroom was available in the local area and so they researched ways to produce an alternate mushroom that was easier to grow and higher in nutrients. For the new entrepreneurs, like these and the local communities they serve, their participation in the Emergency Employment Program's 3x6 approach can be transformative. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it from the point of view that I have to do it. 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 عن جد انه انا انسانه ناجحه مع الايام بس شوف الشيء على ارض الواقع كيف المشروع صار على ارض الواقع كيف متابعينه آه عاد الناس صارت تشجعنا سيده منتجه سيده اعمال خلينا نحكي وانا بفتخر في نفسي اسمحي لي يعني احكي لها عن نفسي انه انا سيده اعمال الحمد لله رئيس الجمعيه ناشئه عملت جمعيه لهم للستات اللي هم حابين انهم يعملوا مشاريع زي اول فكره خطرت على بالي بعد ما اخذت المنحه it is important, it is impactful, but it is not enough. We have all to work together to upscale this kind of initiative. And this effort must be supported. This is the role of the development community in generating employment and making sure that we effectively address the problem of self-sufficiency. The 3x6 is a concrete example for that.